Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to review a few brainstorming tips for creating your doodly whiteboard videos. Hey, and welcome to the official doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Coming up with fresh ideas for your doodly videos can sometimes be a challenge. I particularly love a good mind map, so that's what we're going to start with today. So I've started this mind map. It's just the beginning of one. It's not complete, but it gives us something to work off. So I'm going to pretend I'm a real estate agent and that I serve a couple of different types of customers. I have um, like commercial and investment properties or residential real estate. And then I also have referral sources, people that refer business to me. So we might make videos around that too. Now, if you look under residential real estate here, I've got several subtopics. I got the types of residential real estate, family, single family homes, condos, tiny homes, luxury homes. And then I have the home buying process. We could build all kinds of topics about that, you know, getting a mortgage and whatnot, market trends. And I have a bunch of different ideas here. And then the home selling process. Again, there's a million more ideas you can add to this. Maybe you're already thinking, oh, she didn't add that. Well, great. If that's your mind map, add whatever comes to mind. Taking a look at luxury homes, for example, you've got selling a luxury home. Can you afford a luxury home? What type of loan do you need for a luxury home? Should I get a custom or should I buy an existing luxury home? What are some of the marketing considerations when I list it? So if I'm looking for an agent, you know, maybe I want one that specializes in drone footage or something like that. I want to point out, don't judge them. You know, maybe it's a dumb idea. Go ahead and write it down anyway. And you never know the next idea related to that could be brilliant. So just give yourself permission to play with it and just explore. The next thing to keep in mind is you can take any one of these topics here and present it in several different ways, depending on the audience. So who is your audience? Is it a buyer, a seller? Is it one of your referral sources? How aware or knowledgeable are they on the subject? For example, first time home buyers know much less than house flippers do about buying properties. And most importantly, they have different concerns. You could take that very same topic and write it five different ways depending on the audience and what their pain points are and their levels of awareness. So let's drill down to market trends and let's choose neighborhood. Let's think of topics based on different audiences like house flippers and first time ha home buyers. Okay, so that should give you an idea of how you can start brainstorming potential topics for your videos. So let's go ahead and create one in Doodly. So here is my script, and this is what we're going to use to create our video. Start with the voiceover. I'm going to use Talkia. Start with a new project. I'm just going to copy and paste my script in here. And I'm going to choose a female voice. I'm going to choose one of my favorites, and I'm going to choose Sally. And let's just listen to her. Thinking of flipping a house? Before you jump in, here are 5 gotchas to watch out for. 1. Price fluctuations. Okay, I find she's speaking a little too slowly for my taste, so I'm going to bump it up a little bit. Thinking of flipping a house? Before you jump in, here are 5 gotchas to watch out for. And that's going to be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to the timeline. And there it is, about 50 seconds long, and now I'm going to export it. Back into Doodly, and I'm going to go to the Sounds tab and hit the plus sign. And now I'm just going to drag and drop my voiceover into it. Here it is. Let's go ahead and delete this image, and let's start building the scene. I would like a title. I control clicked to select them both, and that way I can resize them at the same time and do something like that. And let's put a character in here. I already have it on Think, so let's just use that. Let's use Jacob. Let's flip him. And then let's go to Props. Let's see if there's a house. Oh, I like this falling house. It looks like it's flipping. 
Okay, that'll be fine. Let's move on to our next one. And we're just going to use a lot of text on this one, I believe. I like the size and position of that, so I'm going to duplicate this scene five times. And then I'm just going to change the text each time. That way they're all the same font, same location. Price fluctuations. So now we just need some graphics to put in here. So let's let's do a few different things. I think you know the real estate, that's fine. And then maybe a house, another house. Okay, so that's our price fluctuations. Hidden repair costs. Okay, so now we want numbers. Okay, that'll be good. Uncertain ROI. Okay. Again, I'm just adding pictures of houses. And a character maybe. Looking more great. Zoning and permitting. Okay. And then our last one, market saturation. So we have lots of houses for sale. So a lot of these I had imported previously, so they're not all built into Doodly. To import, you just hit this little blue and white plus sign and just upload your graphics. Okay, we've now created the basic scenes. The timing, of course, is going to be all over the place because we didn't adjust it to the voiceover. So that's what I'd like to do now. So I'm going to go to Show Preview. And this way you can work with the audio a little easier with this little player here. So let's get started here. Thinking of flipping a house? Before you jump in, here are five gotchas to watch out for. One. Okay, the scene needs to end right here. And this five gotchas should probably come after we see this house flip. I think my man will already be drawn on. And then we could draw the house itself. Probably two seconds. Maybe one second. Now let's see. Thinking of flipping a house? Before you jump in, here are five gotchas to watch out for. 1. Price fluctuations. Neighborhood prices can shift quickly. What seems like a bargain today might leave you in the red tomorrow. 2. Okay, so this one is way too long. Needs to end right about here. I think this house will already be drawn on. We could draw the keys. I think this number will also already be drawn on. This line, one second max. You notice how he's erasing that? I don't like that, so I'm going to go to settings. Erase mode is turned on by default, so I'm turning it off. And now let's just see how that's looking. 1. Price fluctuations. Neighborhood prices can shift quickly. What seems like a bargain today might leave you in the red tomorrow. 2. Hidden repair. Okay, so it's close. Um, scene settings. Let's add a little extra time. And then right here, we're going to be talking about you need a good realtor or something like that. So let's add a call to action. Here's one. So we're going to pretend that we are Jane Martin, a real estate agent. And then let's add some time at the very end of the scene here. Flipping houses is risky, but with the right knowledge and realtor by... See how it scribbles that on? Go to the pencil icon. Reveal mode draw. Let's change it to reveal mode fade. And that way it'll just fade on nicely. Then if we wanted, we could put our um, contact information, like a website address or a phone number. And that's basically it. Let's take a quick look and then we'll be done. Thinking of flipping a house? Before you jump in, here are five gotchas to watch out for. One, price fluctuations. Neighborhood prices can shift quickly. What seems like a bargain today might leave you in the red tomorrow. 2. Hidden repair costs. Unseen problems like a cracked foundation or outdated wiring can drain your budget fast. Always dig deep during inspections. 3. Uncertain ROI. Estimating your return on investment is tricky. One wrong calculation, and your profit might vanish. 4. Zoning and permitting issues. Local laws can be a maze. Delays or denials in permits can set your project back months. Five. Market saturation. If too many flips hit the market at once, you might have to lower your price just to stay competitive. Flipping houses is risky, but with the right knowledge and realtor by your side, you can avoid these gotchas. And there you have it. Some brainstorming techniques and some tips for creating your next doodly whiteboard video. I hope this gives you some ideas.
Thank you for watching.